let me in. So immediately you notice the wood. There's a lot of wood in And wood didn't grow in both fields, so all this had to be brought here. I'm going to say, do you know, to your knowledge, what town most of this wood was brought in? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where the people came from. I know they're pretty, pretty good at woodworking, but I don't know. I don't know even if they had a meal here. Um, there was um, a Christmas here. And this is a room that is the best preserved. So a couple things that I noticed, one of them is that the, the seat is tied to the desk behind me. So if you want to annoy someone, you just do this. <laughs> they pulled it to the floor, but I don't imagine for a second that somebody didn't do this at all. Everything is the doors. Uh, I guess, um, the no, I just heard it sound. There's a lot of sound watching here. Yeah. It's pretty weird voice Doing the floor right now. These doors. Stay tuned. We'll do this. Filled in the vents. That was the style. Uh, if you had money, you'd go to the five-pound door. Um, a lot of the a lot of doors were were in here didn't have that, but that's you find those throughout the hotel. And then there's one that's not five pound. Uh, probably because someone stole the original door and kind of put one in there to replace it. Um, <clears throat> a couple of things you um, I point out. One of them is uh, there's a deep vent there. The um, hotel had hot water heat, so they had radiators to the boiler in the basement, and they circulate hot water. And so there's a radiator in the room, and then you turn it up or down the water flow into the radiator to heat the room. This had a furnace, not a boiler. So it was forced air um, heat. Very efficient and very upscale. It's the only, it's the only building in town that had it, right? a long way, but there's some, um, it's, it's very long. The furnace is long gone. I have no idea where it is, but we'll go into the furnace room and we'll show you that. But, so that's, a, I think it's really cool. That, you know, have forced air here. Um, mm -hmm. Some of the rooms have um, wood stove or, or coal stove um, um, balloons. I don't know if those are original or not. <clears throat> and they had electricity here. Uh, obviously, they had a small outlet because no one had anything to plug in. But they had electricity here, which is unusual. There's a, um, about an 800 gallon water tank up in, the, wow. up in the attic. So I didn't want them to not have power in the attic. I didn't want them to be out of water. It's, it's a big deal. You really went out of the way to make it bright. When did the school close? When did it close? Um, the uh, school was made back. Um, 1952 was the last people here. Oh. The last graduating class, I think, was before that. Now, I was here working on this about three months ago, and a car full of people stopped by on parking. Three of those four people that were in the car had been to high school here. Um, one of them said that she was here in 1952, which was in eighth grade. So I, I, don't, I can't vouch for any of that. I don't know who she was. Anymore, but she's, she described the basement. She said that I know the girl bathroom was in the basement. I would not even go down there. She says she would not even go down there with the school completely full of people and knew they were there. Oh, wow. So I know she's been there because it just kind of creepy. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so that's um, that's the is the the story is in 1952 was the last people here. I'll try to read it. So. <laughs> this is hard. I was like, what's up with that? That's cool. So a couple of notes about the construction. Um, this is real lumber. That's the reason it looks like it's been bolstered a little bit. Um, and then the walls are all this uh, lathing with um, um, plaster on it. And then if you look at each one of these boards, um, it becomes more obvious upstairs where they're not clean. 
but there's a nail, and they didn't have nail guns then. Yeah. And somebody's fingers are tap, tap, boom, tap, tap, boom. And look how many nails are in this room, and the ceiling also is covered at the same time. That's a lot of nails. Continuing our tour of the Goldfield Schoolhouse. We're going to learn something. Those of you that are watching. So that's, um, that's not here. This is here. This is um, Goldfield and it's in its heyday. But in uh, Jerry's um, shop, there's a, there's a big mural that's uh, 15 feet long of that. Um, there's the hotel. There's a the high school that's over there right now. Hi, Diana. You learning anything? Wasn't there a point in time where they almost made this the capital of the huh? as opposed to Carson City? Because well, there was a lot of politics here. Um, George okay. Winfield and George Mason were both big, big time politicians. They they weren't politicians when they were here, but they became that way. Both of them got their name and their money from there. They both left here with 15, 20 million dollars apiece back in the oh, yeah, that's, that's a lot that's of billions nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. So you become powerful. Um, yeah. A Reno back in the week back in those days, but it was such a short little thing mm -hmm. that I can't see here. Um, but there's a lot of politics around that. I don't know whether there was an issue to make those feel that Okay. I don't know. Yeah. So my understanding is that the, the younger grades were down. See how many years goes I had my lost perception, so. Uh, I'm not live. I'm just recording. These are the original fixtures. Uh, they did have filament light bulbs in them. And so <clears throat> I had to look up to see where the heck they got the electricity. Um, yeah. It was hydro from, most, most of it was hydro from Bishop, which is just over the, uh, over towards your somebody. Did I hear that sound like I heard it's going? Did you hear it again? Like, mm -hmm. oh, it's got when it's when it's raining, uh, one of one of my jobs. I'm the vice president of the historical society. One of my jobs is to sort of babysit the place. So when it's raining and stormy, it's kind of we show the buckets around the right place because they're loose and it's like it's pretty crazy here. I mean, you go on a loose bang and it's raining. It's like man, yeah, this is this is weird. You know, I'm scared that everyone is staying here overnight. Well. There are people who do. I wouldn't. I wouldn't stay that long. It's not for me to be working. If you want to come with me, you can come. And he has been to school a couple times. He just wouldn't. He doesn't like. I don't like to see the last. Not for everybody. I keep hearing the noise, so it's probably wind coming through the building somehow. Here's the furnace one. Ooh, <laughs> Freddy Krueger time. See you in your dreams, bitch. You got it. Into the creepy cold room. Come on in. Hey, dog. I in that door also. And I get up there and, and screw that door closed and I'm yeah. not sure. It's not easy to get up there. But this stone here, since it's not high freeze, thought I think it's in very good shape. Yeah.
Yeah, you hear it good. I'm hearing it. Is he in the window that's maybe owls in the attic or something? Yeah, something. It could be birds in the Yeah, there's an owl losing. Oh, okay. So it's comps or whatever it is. Deep on the board. Electricity came in later, like when this originally built. No, it was still it was like power. I think they had the hydropower bishop in about 1901, okay. Okay. 1900, something like that. So, yeah. sounds like an owl. You're a spirit, you're really singing good. Yeah, yeah. Get going. <laughs> probably wasn't a line here, it probably was a line over there. <laughs> Lots of dust. Sorry guys, there's lots of dust. It's orbs. Are you live? No. But I'm still talking to the video. Oh, yeah, I'll post it later. Tons of dust. Oops, there you go. The first step is a steeple. Well, heck yeah. Wow. That is cool. So this has all been timbered up, and when the when the wall gets fixed, then when you get roof, then the next step is to timber all that. And that's been kind of too. That's kind of Nineteen forty seven. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. This was not a classroom. This is probably like a teacher's lounge. Or... Look at me go. Original. Oh, wow. 
this about this floor. I don't know if it was just um, the slack playing the floor. I don't know about this. I don't know if that was added later or, or not. Five panel doors. Careful. Careful. There's a chair there. Just move. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, this is Merry Christmas, 1947. And it's still hanging up. That's freaking awesome. That wall from falling down. That's right. So why didn't you just keep it from falling down and just put it back up? Does he know this whole building? Him? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, when I go up, when we work on the roof, up in the rafters, he, he seems he's, very comfortable going in and out. Yeah, he's, he's here. <laughs> he knows the layout. He doesn't yeah. like when I'm up in the attic. Oh. He doesn't, he can't find no money. So you sit down here and boing down. Come down, Kind of normal classroom, like a wood shop or. Is again for those being in tune and then watching your team? Lab room or something. Yeah, it's fun.
Top floor. And notice how high this is That's that's pretty amazing. Oh wow. And it's the attic above us, I take it. Yeah. Okay. Be feeling better from the room. And is that where you're doing the majority of the renovations right now? Is fixing the roof, you said? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're hearing that from outside too. There's a door. Probably bring food back from wherever you go. Yeah, I might try to have an owl poop in wrap. It's time for class. <laughs> Did we get out the books? Well, I don't hear that noise anymore. Probably heard us coming up. Yep, look at its feathers. Yeah. Feathers everywhere. Unfortunately, we had a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that's gone. Um, a lot of doorknobs are gone. Um, there was a, it was a, a case of a that classroom, mm -hmm. that stuff on the teacher's desk, that's all gone. I mean, all the stuff that's in there now is the stuff someone brought back. Yeah. So it's it's bad. And the, and the hotel is at least as bad. Wow. There used to be brass beds and all the doors, all the doorknobs, everything is, the hotel is pretty much been stripped. And not only by the guy who owns it, but by, you know, people who breaking in there for oh, 40 years for him. So. Uh, Nevada Travel Magazine has a photo <laughs> contest every year. Um, one of the people that Jerry had on her tour, you know, photography group, um, you guys took a picture of this um, stairwell and, and won the contest. Oh, wow. Yeah, That's awesome. And if you're a photographer, you, you can see when you take your pictures, if you turn the flash off on your camera, you get wonderful oh, pictures, yeah. wonderful light. It's always yeah. good. Thank you. 
principal's office, and he had a, um, a, a kid he was disciplining, and his dad came, and he got mad at the principal, and the, the dad wound up dying, um, and the kid apparently was being, being um, got stuck in there for punishment. He's been in there for crazy response. This is a documented case. Yeah, I get pretty mad too. Yeah. I don't know. All the stories are stories. If, if you want to go look up in the attic. I was just going to say that. Is it okay to walk up there? Absolutely. Yeah. Y'all have fun? Come on, but hold my head out. I got it. All right, I'm going to take a seat. You can do the attic. I'm not going to Okay, I'm going to <laughs> I should have been the one to get up there. I don't have a light. Holy crap. It's huge. Yeah. You see the, can you see the water tank? Yeah. You have to turn on the light first. Or you might be able to scroll and get to your... Yeah. Is it just one of these down here? Your light um, is right here. There you go. So being up there working on the roof and the nice... Is it light on now? The still not on. Nope. Mm -hmm. I thought I turned it on. Sorry, but we're getting the light turned on and I'm going to go up into the attic. Camera and flashlight. Camera light is... Weird. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, light now. Okay. There we go. Alright. Let's take a peek. This is the attic. It's huge. It's huge. I have no desire to go up there. And these, these windows, these vent windows, the, the outside windows they open up and they open down. So we open them down and we open these lintels to get a, get a lot of ventilation. Especially on a nice windy day. Well, they made the roof so high to keep the heat as high as possible. And then in the summer, yeah. Like, I think it's just a, it's an artistic thing, but I think it does make it harder to heat in the winter, but, and I think that's one of the reasons they have forced air. It's, it's easier to heat a high ceiling with forced air heat than radiators. Now, I understand that Goldfield Hotel doesn't have any electricity. It doesn't now, no. Yeah. Well, it has, it has some, there's probably, um, there's power oh, to the building. Okay. There's a bunch of extension cords around. Like, Do you yeah, need power for does. equipment? Do we need power for equipment? Yeah. Probably, but yeah. like I said, we have extension cords also in the car. So, okay. so if there's power somewhere, we could always charge stuff. Yeah, we can. There's, there's probably four outlets, five outlets. Oh, yeah, we're good. Okay. Yeah. We, don't have, we don't need power through the building. We just need oh my God. power in case we have to charge something. Yeah, you won't be able to do any welding, but you, know, you can charge things. We're not going to do any welding. Sorry, guys, you got to stop the hunt real fast. Got to do some welding. <laughs> got to make, got to make a ghost trap. <laughs> You're gonna fall through. Yeah, you'll come right through if you fall on the slides. <laughs> 